So, the amount of shade when we all throw up on Lisa Hannah today, I do need no shades for that one, yeah. So, grab no shades. Anywhere on the day, grab a piece, grab no shades, because the amount of shade that will be thrown in this video, you're going to need sunglasses to block them out. Miss Lisa Hannah, just watch out. So, today's video is going to be none other than Miss Lisa Hanna taking center stage again on social media. Let me throw me Lisa Hanna wig behind me like so. Mm. You know, say she, she a half coolie. So, let me brush back my wig. So, Miss Lisa Hanna, some had some run-ins with the toll road that is built in Jamaica. She couldn't get through, so she did on Instagram the ball and they cry, the victim, as what she always does. When she step in a dog doodle and want to take her foot out of it, she always cry the victim and play the victim on social media. So, we're going to get into it. She put on... Social media, and I'm, I'm reading this from her official social media, Instagram. Cash only, but if you have a credit or a debit card. Make your okay. Cash only, but if you have a credit or debit card machine, you won't accept a credit or debit payment for toll, question mark. I had to wait for someone to drive from Kingston to Cayman's toll with $450 because unless you have cash or US dollars, the Chinese will not let you through. It's their policy. The sale agent was passive aggressive in her demeanor and said there was nothing she could do because even if I bought the pass for $30,000, Jamaican that is, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't, the it wouldn't be active to get me through the toll. When the person arrived with the $450, a supervisor finally called down that they will accept my payments via credit card. This was after I was prepared to buy a pass for the road, which they estimated would cost me $30,000. I eventually made a credit card payment of $38,000 thousand four hundred and fifty dollars two thousand four hundred for toll six thousand for the device and thirty thousand for credit to the chct after feeling severe frustration with the customer service why do our jamaican people make life so difficult for their own jamaican people why won't the chinese highway accept other forms of payment Suppose it was a situation of life or death and a person just would, didn't have the money. Why must we give people who are trying to give you money or not bad customer service in the sales office? CHEC needs to make back their money on their investment to build the road, but there is no excuse for a Jamaican worker to give bad customer service. That's the issue. I'm calling on China Harbor to look at their toll policy. It's already very expensive for us as motorists to use the highway, but on top of it, we receive bad customer service. We don't encounter this problem on North South Highway, May 13, 2017. Thanks to the supervisor, I have formally made a complaint and offer a suggestion to the CHEC head office. So, basically, she went to the toll. She didn't have enough money to pay for the toll and her vehicle that was going through the toll. So, she's on social media crying about how expensive it, expensive it is to go through the toll and what if it's a life or death situation. Miss Hannah, hi, hello. Let me sit good. Let, let, me, let me fix my wig before the shade blow you off. Let me fix you up a little bit. Miss Hannah, look how much Jamaican people 
has voiced their concern about all these highways that are actually being built in Jamaica. Look how many people have complained, regular citizens, regular poor people, regular people. We go have them nine to five, okay? We work them job if you mind them pitney, okay? Regular people. Look how many have complained about this specific problem before you. And what you say before this? Nothing, okay? Nothing. Not a damn thing. You didn't have anything to say until your little cushy, privileged, high society life was put on the back burner because, because the sale associate didn't pass you through because she didn't give a rat's ass if you were Lisa Hannah or not. Okay, and quite frankly, I applaud that girl that didn't let her ass through the toll. I <laughs> give her a round of applause. <laughs> Look there, she is doing her job. If that is the highway or the tollway policy, she is doing her job. That's not bad customer service. That's called doing your job. Regular people. Regular people will work at them totally. If they not do them job, them get fired. Okay? Them get fired. It's not like people that's in parliament that can get away with anything and them still have them job and them still have them pension and them can live off of people. Hard working tax dollars. Okay, Miss Hannah? Okay, you got that? You got that one there. Now you're complaining about how Chinese people um is making it hard for jamaican or jamaican people are making it hard for jamaican people when then they did offer to build a highway and people voiced their concerns about a chinese china building another toll or another roadway in jamaica wanted did have to say about that we don't never have a thing because you guys said it was going to be beneficial not only for your guys pockets but also for jamaican people but no when it turn around and they bite your back in the ass you want to come from social media and ball about it hi hello we no care hi hello we no care hi hello i, I know i know i know you feel like talk about this on social media really get the fuck up out of here man Get up out of here with that BS. Not only are the Chinese people making tolls and roads in Jamaica, they are outsourcing jobs from Jamaica to China and to other places. So when you come on social media, they cry victim and doing all this extra stuff. What we the people need you to do is actually go to the Jamaican government and go to the Jamaican parliament and actually be a opposition to all these stuff that they are passing. Tell them no, the Jamaican people no want no toll. Tell them no, they need to lower the prices on the toll. Tell them no, they need to accept cash and credit card payments. Tell them no, if it's a life or death situation, they need to let the people through and the government will pay the cost. Tell them all of that when they're in a parliament. Instead of staying on social media and riling up people, and doing all this extra stuff, that's what we need you to do. So, when they're on social media, they play a victim. People like me and most other Jamaican people don't give a rat's ass. We need you to actually, we need you to actually do your job in parliament, okay? Do your job, okay? That's what we need you to do. And quite frankly, I don't give a rat's ass how much money you had to pay. Okay, you to take you're getting paid double that, if not triple that a week. Okay? Because of Jamaican hard working tax dollars. So it asked me if I care if you had to pay a thirty eight thousand dollar for your toll pass. Ask me one more time. Zero 
fucks given. Zero. Okay? So, comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about Miss Lisa Hanna finally voicing her concern about these tolls and these highways that they're building in Jamaica. Not only these highways, but these highways are causing flooding in certain areas in Jamaica. So places, places like Clarendon are being flooded because they build these highways and then cut down the mountain. And when you cut down a mountain to build a highway, all the land that normally soaks up all the rainwater now is directly impacting that land that people live on. So you don't have anything to do with sewage and disposing of garbage properly or anything like that. It's all the highways that they're building and they're cutting down the mount mountains and all the soil that normally soaks up all that rainwater so no places they get flood out and all these things so talk about that on social media talk about a solution on that uh, on social media talk about other people problem instead of voicing your problem because you want to play a victim no one cares and quite frankly y'all are the one that was in parliament when y'all y'all party accepted this highway and actually made agreement with the Chinese people for this highway. So I don't want to hear nothing from your mom. Okay? As to what my grandmother would have said. Wanty, wanty, can't get it and get to get you no wanty. Okay? So, comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about Miss Lisa Hanna crying the victim on social media because she didn't have enough money to pay the toll and claiming that this girl gave bad customer service because she was following her job policy how ironic so comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think don't forget to like comment share subscribe to your girl here on youtube i'm up out of here man deuce